What's up, YouTube? This is your girl, Megan, from the Hood Astro Queen. Welcome back to my channel, to all of my returning subscribers. However, if this is your first time joining me on today, welcome. It is here that we use information from celestial bodies to help us gain a better understanding of our favorite celebrities, world events, but most importantly, our damn selves. So, thumbs up this video. It does wonders to help me in terms of the algorithm subscribe to join the family and share this video okay so with that in mind i wanted to talk about Nicki minaj okay onika Minaj, as i'm sure many of you guys may know she came out with a re-release version of her beam me up scotty mixtape on friday all right she came out maybe towards the middle of the week and started doing promo for it she's been absentee missing in action on social media for a long time uh for some months now however as of this week she's back at it i believe she also released some new singles one of those including a track that had drake and lil wayne on it and they all sounded they were giving me very much prime rare form circa 2009 and 10 i think it's called the green monster the green room something like that y'all know what i'm talking about go check it out if you haven't i personally really enjoyed it and nikki is clearly gearing up to usher in a new era okay i don't think these were lead singles per se uh, but she's made it clear that she's been working on a lot of stuff and that there is an album coming. There is a new era coming. With that in mind, I want to take a look at her chart, revisit her chart to kind of give a astrological breakdown as to why this is. All right. Or some sort of context to a lot of her behavior, her actions. And then I also want to take a look at her transits as well to kind of give an indicator as to what is going on for Nicki Minaj astrologically and what could be yet to come. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Okay. So Onika Mirage was born on December 8th, 1982 at uh, 9 52 AM in Port of Spain, Trinidad. Now with her being born on the 8th, that absolutely deals with her being like a stone cold businesswoman, a workaholic, but so can her being that Capricorn South Node. Okay, she has her South Node at the fifth degree of Capricorn, and with it being placed in her twelfth house, um, it could actually deal with her being in the music industry where she's a workaholic, but she puts all of her hard work into her music. Normally, the 12th house could, especially when we talk about like where Capricorn is involved, uh, can create a person who may be kind of lazy or it can kind of blunt a lot of the effects of Capricorn. But but if you are, you know, in a profession that allows you to express yourself creatively. So a lot of music artists, a lot of actors and actresses, maybe even people who could work in like the healthcare field too. Um, certain professions where like maybe maybe you're you know a part of a nonprofit organization you know jobs where you're serving other people and things like that um, it could really benefit you and, and pan out for you so yeah I mean this absolutely has everything to do with why she is such a stone cold career woman she's a workaholic she's a machine very Capricorn South Node. Another celebrity who has this same lunar node placement, who shares a lot of the same work ethic, is Beyonce. Okay, say what you want to say about that. Some people will be like, why are you comparing her to Beyonce? She ain't Beyonce. Listen, okay. Astrologically, energetically, it's the same thing. These are women who have spent the majority of their lives working. Working a lot of who they are, a lot of how they identify with themselves, especially with her Mars at the 28th degree of Capricorn, is wrapped up in her job, her career. So that's why when Cardi B came on the scene and this whole uh, Nikki hate train apparatus really was launching. I mean, and people were like, why can't you just step back? Why can't you just step back? Ain't no stepping back. Okay. 
she can step and continue to be in her own lane and evolve and continue to like challenge herself over time but there's no such thing as you know a capricorn south node and mars just completely not working completely exiting the game it's all about legacy for these people they're constantly trying to secure a legacy now with her being a new mother and all this absolutely was a significant stride towards that cancer north node in her sixth house as it really preoccupies a lot of her day-to-day -day life which is the sixth house with motherhood being a mother being a mommy so you know her having papa bear was a huge achievement in terms of her activating that cancer north node and deciding to live a more private life so in a lot of ways even taking that hiatus uh was very cancer north node these are people who are supposed to be very private in this lifetime which once again we can draw a very similar parallel to beyonce and her having all the children that she has and her living and being such a private person in her own right however a strategic way to still utilize that Capricorn South note is to be very private on one hand, but very strategic in terms of when you hop into that Capricorn South note bag, which is intuitively what I get that Nicki Minaj is doing. So yes, she's a mother. Yes, she's embracing her newfound domestic kind of domesticated life. But every so often when she got a point to prove, okay, she will do press runs she is gonna grind she is gonna you know uh utilize social media in her presence to push her uh projects and and things that she has coming up and when she's not doing that i guarantee you she'll probably be at home or she'll be back in that uh cancer north node bag and if you ask me i honestly feel like uh that's the best way to do it you know, if you're going to be dealt these type of cards, that's the best way to do it. So, um, shouts out to Nikki for that. Now, in terms of her current transits, something that I noticed was that her uh, Mars is actually conjoined to transiting Pluto. Now, this is a transit that's kind of on its way out. It's not quite conjoined. It's not a, a tight conjunction, I should say, uh, in terms of like the orb but but i feel like she still is riding on some of that wave and that could absolutely especially with this conjunction once again occurring in her 12th house of capricorn compounds upon the energy that could have motivated her to you know come out of hiatus or you know where she could have been motivated to work right to work on things to to get things done where it's she she is pushing herself to you know crank out new projects or you know get in the studio and that kind of thing she also just recently experienced transiting saturn forming a semi-square to her mercury in sagittarius which could be responsible for the writer's block that she experienced uh that's something that she mentioned in one of the live streams that she did and she basically went on to say that that had a lot to do with the hiatus as well i mean it wasn't the only thing but she said a significant part of the hiatus did come from the fact that she just she reached a wall she hit a brick wall creatively but then also another really heavy hitting and beneficial transit that she is currently undergoing is transiting Pluto once again in that 12th house um, is actually sextiling her natal Jupiter in the 10th house of Scorpio, which could deal with some of those bomb ass collaborations. All right. That she's received, especially in terms of like Drake and uh, Lil Wayne. But it could also even just do it where, you know, musically, this is going to help her uh, really make a, a huge impact. So whatever it is that she's trying to do, this this album, this era, this rollout, I feel like it could be um, very influential. OK, um, it could definitely be something that gains a lot of traction. Um, it could also help her gain a lot of uh notoriety or it could be very influential in terms of like the culture the industry uh and that kind of thing and she could actually wind up gaining a lot of respect from her peers which i thought was very interesting because a lot of people are giving her her flowers a lot of people are giving her her credit 
showing her love. So I thought that was very interesting. It's a starch. Uh, I, did I say starch, y'all? Staunch. I can't talk. Contrast from the Nikki hate train era. You know what I mean? So that's something good that she has going for her. And that transit is actually going to be lasting for a while. And she also has transiting Jupiter, which Jupiter is now in the sign of Pisces officially. Y'all go check out my Jupiter and Pisces video right now. Well, no, don't do it right now. Wait till this video is over and then go check it out. But with it trining her Saturn in that ninth house of Scorpio, that could actually even deal with, once again, where this is going to be able to help her uh, career musically help her the influence that she's able to to leave or the the music is going to be able to uh leave so i think it's actually going to be very successful whatever it is that she has in store um but it could also just be really beneficial in terms of her once again receiving help from other people publishing um so even you could look at that in terms of her re-releasing that album the the reloaded mixtape rather her being able to make a lot of money off of that so i'm pretty sure stream wise a lot of people are probably running those numbers up or whether she like she's sorting out you know, publishing issues um you know issues with like royalties and things like that so that's really good that theme of collaboration also kind of comes up again and where she's able to kind of earn her respect um re-earn her respect which is worth mentioning for uh capricorn south nodes i mean and and capricorn mars individuals their respect is everything that's why she went so hard that's why she went so hard during the queen era because you know i mean they don't do well when it comes to being defaced or you know to people trying to embarrass them or make them be seen as incompetent that's why she is going the extra mile to address rumors and i think she even said that she she never did coke i don't even know how that rumor came about somebody said she did coke honey she, now she's saying she don't do coke when in the past she would never really address rumors so you know she's on the protect my reputation protect my legacy kind of uh phase and i mean you know this this aspect absolutely reflects that but you could also look at this as there being some sort of healing period that she could be experiencing especially post the death of her father that saturn in uh you know scorpio can deal with the death of a father so you know it could deal with where you know because it's trining that jupiter and pisces it's kind of she's coming to terms with it where she it could be some really deep and therapeutic healing going on or where this could be a very spiritual era for her where she's really in tune spiritually she's also a sagittarius sagittarians are just naturally either very spiritual or kind of religious anyway so you know that's nice she could also be securing some brand deals uh, with this Saturn trining her Jupiter as well, which I thought was very interesting because she had some Crocs, some really cute Crocs on in some of the uh, pictures she posted to her Instagram. And I remember people talking about that, you know, the sales for Crocs went up. OK, Nikki had the, the Crocs doing numbers. So she has some really good transits in terms of like um Things that could help her in terms of her professional career. Transiting Jupiter in Pisces is also trining her Pluto in that ninth house of Libra. A lot of her relationships could be on the up and up around this time. Even her personal relationship with Kenny. So, yeah. This concludes my video on Onika Mirage. I just wanted to provide some context, astrological context, on what she has going on and what could be to come potentially so you guys drop down in the comment section let me know if you checked out her new singles do you guys like that be me up scotty mixtape that was my shit back in the day and yeah make sure you practice unconditional self-love so that you can love others and until the next video i holla